Asha's group was just sitting around the lake in the forest waiting for Paul's battle against Cynthia to start. Since it was now only 15 minutes away, they decided to start walking. Intel. Air cutter. Then a crowbat and goalbat shot and X shaped air attack at them. Apom. Mimic them. Then Apom shot the same thing and they collided, canceling each other out. Ash, it's Team Omni. Sarah said pointing to the people behind the poison Pokemon. We don't have time for this. You guys get to Paul's battle, he'll handle this. Ash told them as Pikachu and Apom launched twin thunderbolts. But Ash, Cynthia started. No buts, if Paul isn't at that battle he's disqualified and besides it's only two people, he'll be fine. Just go. Then everyone but Ash made their way to the stadium as Ash fought off the Team Omni people. Crobat Poison Fang. Golbat Wing Attack. Crobat's teeth then turned a toxic purple color and rushed Pikachu while Golbat's wings glowed and it charged Apom. Pikachu, take it with Iron Tail and Apom use Focus Punch. Pikachu's tail became white, until it took the Poison Fang and became purple, then slammed into Crobat, taking it out. Apom's fist was white, he jumped over Golbat and struck it, sending it crashing into the floor, out also. And that's all she wrote. Ash said with Pikachu and Apom getting back on his shoulders. Not quite catch him, said one of the grunts. Ash was about to ask what he meant but about ten other grunts fell from the trees. Ah shit, looks like this will take longer than I thought. Salamence, Gardevoir and Torterra, lend me your aura. Ash said as his blue dragon, green humanoid and huge turtle Pokemon appeared. Dragon Rage, Psybeam and Razor Leaf. Looks like he'll miss Paul's battle. Ash called to his Pokemon and said the last part to himself. Melodic is unable to battle, Electivire is the winner. Send out your next Pokemon. Two down four to go. Paul said to himself as he remembered Drapion beating Spiritomb. Gastrodon, Battle Dance. Cynthia said calling out her third Pokemon that was a mud slug. Muddy water. Break it with thunder. While the wave of brown water didn't completely go away, the thunder cut the damage in half. Gastrodon. Hydro pump and mud shot. Electivire. Brick break. Electivire's glowing hand broke the torrent of water, but Electivire was slammed with the ground type attack right in the chest. Finish it with a mud bomb. Then a huge brown bubble was thrown at Electivire effectively taking it out. Electivire is unable to battle, Gastrodon wins. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref said. Ursaring, stand by for battle. Paul said as he called his brown bear Pokemon out. Even with the battle going on Paul and Cynthia couldn't help but look into the stands where the guys were sitting. They were both asking the same thing. Where is Ash? Meanwhile Ash was fighting against what were now 15 members. Salamence fly with Gardevoir and use a double hyper beam on Magmar and Electabuzz, Torterra, use Stone Edge on the Frostlass. Salamence took to the skies with Gardevoir as a passenger, narrowly dodging a Thunderbolt-Flamethrower combination. The two of them charged and fired their hyper beams and they hit directly into the chests of the electric and fire type. Torterra then shot sharp stones at the ice ghost dual type and knocked it out completely. Okay now there's only 12 more to go. Oh boy. Dragon Pulse. Psychic to power it up and Torterra do a crunch on anything that gets close enough. And that's two in a row to Ursaring. First Gastrodon. Then drawing with Lucario. So that makes it 4 to 3 and I am in the lead. Not bad. Paul said to himself as he called back Ursaring. Togekiss. Battle Dance. Cynthia called as she flung another Pokeball. Honchcrow. Stand by for battle. Paul said as his dark type bird appeared. Air slash. Cynthia called. Air cutter. Paul countered. The blue sphere and blue. X. Met and exploded. Brave bird. Cynthia said. Sky attack. Paul ordered. Again the birds met in the middle and collided repeatedly. Aura sphere. Cynthia told her flying type. Dark pulse. Paul commanded. Again the attacks met and were even. But after the collision ended. Both birds fell to the floor. Both Togekiss and Honchkrow are unable to battle. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref told everyone. Cynthia sent out her sixth Pokemon Garchomp while Paul sent out his fifth, Magmortar. Still they both looked into the stands and found one person missing. 
Ash. Back in the forest, Ash was down to fighting seven people. Salamence Dragon Tail, Gardevoir Magical Leaf and Torterra Stone Edge. Salamence's Dragon Tail hit away a Psybeam from Grumpig and knocked it out. Gardevoir's Magical Leaf stopped a pin missile from Jolteon, only for Jolteon to be taken down from a Psychic. Torterra's Stone Edge broke through a Protect from Rhyperior to leave Rhyperior open to a Leaf Storm. Okay, only four to go. Salamence, Draco Meteor, Gardevoir Protect you and Torterra. Salamence's Draco Meteor succeeded in taking out the remaining four Pokémon which were a Mamoswine, Metagross, Pidgeotto and Chansey. Great job you three, return and it'll get you some rest. Ash said pulling the dragon, Psychic and Grass types into their Pokéballs. Maybe if we hurry, we can catch some of Paul's match. Ash said to Pikachu and Apom who smiled. Ash arrived in the stands right next to his friends in time for the end of the final battle. Everyone in his group saw him come in and smiled. Even Paul was a little relieved that he was okay. Garchomp. Dragon Rush. Garchomp took off at Torterra surrounded in blue dragon-like energy. Torterra. Wait for it. Closer. Little more. Now. Giga Drain. As Garchomp closed in Torterra let green vines from his shell wrap around Garchomp and drain her energy, although he took some damage from the Dragon Rush. As Torterra let Garchomp go it fell to the floor, unmoving. Garchomp is unable to battle, Torterra wins and the victor is Paul from Sinnoh. The ref yelled. The crowd burst into applause as Cynthia and Paul walked over to Ash and his friends. Before anybody could ask Ash what happened and what took him so long, Cynthia practically threw herself at him, taking him into a big hug and said. What the hell happened? What took you so long? As she finally let go he told them. There was more than I thought. After I beat those two, like twenty dropped from the trees, still nothing I couldn't handle. They all sighed in relief that everything was okay and went back to the lake. I have a surprise for you all. Your nanodexes from the professor got here today. Ash said giving them out. Jesse and James's had a white band with a red screen. Domino's had a yellow band and a black screen. Sarah's had a purple band and a clear screen. Cynthia's had a black band and a yellow screen. After they said their thanks, they began to train. Ash and Paul were in a practice battle right now. Honchkrow. Sky Attack. Swellow. Aerial Ace. Then Ash and Paul's flying types met in the middle of the sky, crashed into each other, and swung back around to fly above their trainers. Honchkrow Night Slash. Swellow Wing Attack. Honchkrow's wing glowed black and Swellow's glowed white and their glowing wings met in the middle again, this time Honchkrow was overpowered and pushed back. Come back with Drill Peck. Honchkrow then slammed into Swellow with its glowing beak before Swellow could move. Drill Peck again. Peck attack. With Honchkrow pecking Swellow and Swellow pecking Honchkrow they both ended up falling out of the sky, fainted. Another draw. Ash asked. I know right. First Magmordar and Infernape. Then Absol and Tauros now Honchkrow and Swellow. Paul asked, telling Honchkrow to take a break. We're just too good, Ash said with a laugh. Okay now what it's still about two hours until your match. Cynthia asked from his side. Want to watch fireworks? Ash said surprising most of them. How? Joey asked him. Pikachu. Firework attack. Pikachu shot lightning up into the sky, not yellow, but red. Then when it got high enough it exploded like a real firework. Seeing their amazement, they sat there watching fireworks for the next hour and a half. After seeing that it was a half hour to battle time, they went to the stadium. This is a full battle between Alder from Unova and Ash from Kanto. Begin. The ref yelled loudly. Axeglor. I need you. Infernape. Lend me your aura. Then the bug and fire types stared each other down waiting for a command. Infernape Mach Punch. With a glowing fist Infernape charged and struck the bug Pokemon. Now acrobatics. Me first. Then before Infernape could disappear and attack, Axeglor did it first and hit Infernape. Now Axeglor Focus Blast. Then the circular attack rocketed at the fire monkey. Infernape send it back with Iron Tail. With his glowing tail Infernape send the fighting orb back into the champion's bug Pokemon. Axeglor Bug Buzz. Attack first with Flamethrower. 
Flamethrower struck the bug type before the bug buzz could reach the fire, fighting type and knocked Axeglor out of the fight. Axeglor is unable to battle. Infernape wins. Send out your next Pokemon. Announced the ref. Volcarona. I need you. Alder said calling out his dual fire Pokemon. Infernape. Flamethrower. You too. The torrent of flames met in the middle of the field and exploded. Flare Blitz. Bug Buzz. After the smoke cleared again, Infernape was down. Ash recalled his Pokemon with words of praise. Infernape is unable to battle. Volcarona wins. Send out your next Pokemon. Yelled the ref. Gigalith. Lend me your aura. Ash yelled calling out his rock type. Bug Buzz again. Not so fast. Gigalith Stone Edge. The stones tore through the bug attack and banged Volcarona. Flamethrower. Bulldoze. While the flames did hit the rock type, he did little more than wince in pain, before charging the fire, bug Pokemon. Volcarona is unable to battle, Gigalith wins. Send out your next Pokemon. Escavalier. I need your assistance. Stone Edge. Twineedle. The Twineedle mad quick word for the rocks before repeatedly hitting Gigalith until Alder said. Metal Claw. Its glowing lances attacked the rock type with a super effective hit, making Gigalith faint. Gigalith is unable to battle. Escavalier wins. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref said. Return Gigalith. You were great. Houndoom lend me your aura. Metal Claw. Crunch and then Fire Fang. The Metal Claw was stopped by the Crunch and Escavalier took damage from the Crunch then the Fire Fang on top. Throw it up and use Dark Pulse. Houndoom threw Escavalier into the air and narrowly missed with a dark type attack. Take down. Finish it with overheat. The white hot burst of flame made contact with Alder's Pokemon, who couldn't get back up. Escavalier is unable to battle. Houndoom wins. Send out your next Pokemon. Drudagon. I need you. Houndoom return. Thank you. Staraptor. Lend me your aura. The dragon and bird stared each other down and sizing each other up. Dragon Pulse. Heat Wave. Staraptor's fire attack pushed the dragon attack back and Drudagon took damage from both attacks. Drudagon. Dragon Claw. Close combat. They met in the middle with Drudagon and its glowing claw and Staraptor and its strong wings. After slashing each other multiple times, they flew away. Dragon Rage. Twister. Staraptor's twister broke the dragon rage and hit Drudagon. Taking the twister was too much for it. Drudagon is unable to battle, Staraptor wins. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref yelled again. Vanillux, I need you. Staraptor, heat wave. Vanillux icy wind. The ice attack managed to hold off the fire attack for a while until Staraptor threw in an ominous wind and hit the ice type with that. Ice beam. Dodge it. But it was too late for Staraptor as he was hit with the super effective attack. Finish it with an icy wind. Staraptor get away. But again Staraptor was too slow and was hit by the ice attack. This time he didn't get up. Staraptor is unable to battle. Vanillux wins. Send out your next Pokemon. The ref said as he spoke up again. Thanks Staraptor. Return. Houndoom. Lend me your aura again. Ash said calling his fire dog back out. Vanillux blizzard. Fire blast. The fire attack easily broke through the ice attack and struck Vanillux. Alder the ordered. Sheer cold. Overheat. What surprised everyone is that overheat didn't lose power. After each Pokemon was hit with the other attack, neither got back up. Both Pokemon are unable to battle. Send out your last Pokemon. Bufalant I need you. Alder said calling out his Tauros rip off. Tauros. Lend me your aura. Ash said calling forth his original. Bufalant. Head charge. Tauros. Take down. Bufinant's afro glowed and it charged the also charging Tauros. What surprised everyone was the attacks were even. Hyper Beam. Alder yelled. Ice Beam. Ash called. The orange and blue attacks met and through the smoke is called. Take down. Tauros rammed Bufalant and Alder called. Megahorn. Tauros took the Megahorn. He was damaged but not out. Bufalant. Head charge. Tauros. Take down again. As they met in the middle again. This time Tauros was winning. Ash saw this and took his chance. Hyper Beam. And with that Tauros shot Bufalant with an orange energy beam, 
slamming it into the stadium wall, out cold. Bufalant is unable to battle. Tauros wins. The victor is Ash from Kanto. The ref shouted. Great job Tauros. Ash said petting the bull. Thanks. It was tough but no rip off from 5th gen was gonna take down the original. Thank you very much. Tauros said back. Ash laughed, recalled him and healed his Pokemon on his nano decks and going outside with his friends. After getting congratulations from his friends and a kiss from Cynthia, they went back to the lake. Lucario, come out, Ash said as they arrived at the lake and everyone got to their spots. Yes, master, Lucario said, looking around for an opponent. Ash chuckled before speaking. Just thought you'd like to relax. Also warn me if you sense any auras approaching. Lucario nodded and sat down next to Ash and started meditating. Not too long after that, Lucario picked something up. Master I sense auras. Lucario told Ash. How many? He asked. Ten. They should be here soon. Lucario responded. Ten. Lucario nodded. They're coming. Everybody tensed up and waited. Sure enough they noticed them coming and then the traitors ducked into the bush, not wanting to be seen. Torterra. Earthquake. Paul said to his turtle that was over by the water. After the ground stopped shaking, the traders got up and Iris yelled. Hey what's the big idea? Paul growled. Us. You were the ones spying on us. He yelled. Superior. Crush them. Trip yelled calling out Superior again. Don't you ever learn. You can't win. With Team Omni hiding in the trees or without, so show yourselves. Ash said as four Omni members fell to the ground. Magmortar. Stand by. Paul yelled. Flame. Fight for me. Joey called. Oh Charizard, the traitors are here. Ash shouted into the woods. After Ash was done screaming for Charizard, a roar so loud that it could be mistaken for a thunderstorm was heard, followed by a burst of white fire hitting Superior, knocking it out. Good boy. Care to go again? Ash said as he petted Charizard and questioned his ex-friends. Crobat. Starmie. Beautifly. Butterfree. Mamoswine. Blastoise. Haxorus. Semisage. Septile. Conkelder. Called Brock. Misty. May. Drew. Don. Gary. Iris. Cillin. Max and Trip. Too easy. Ash and Paul said. Charizard. Magmar Fire Blast. After the Fire Star hit everybody's Pokemon, they all struggled to their feel eventually. Finish them with Overheat Charizard. Magmar. They said together again. After the two white fire beams hit there was nothing getting back up. They looked over to see Embor beat a Matang that was with a Team Omni member. They also saw Pikachu and Apom make quick word of a Noctowl, Firo and Haunter. After the Omni members retreated and the traders left, it was just Ash's group sitting around by the lake watching videos on Ash and Paul's nano dexes. Master, I sense trouble. Shadows. A lot of them, they also have some humans cornered. Should we go help? Lucario asked. Guys let's go Lucario found shadows. Charizard. Septile. Garchomp. Feraligator return. I'll need you for this. I think there's something not right. Ash said Totham. Everyone nodded and split into their groups, and found their way to the shadows. Where they all knew all too well that that's where the final showdown was. As they approached they were stunned. There were so many shadows they couldn't count them all. Let's get to work. Flame heat crash. Joey said calling to Embor as he came out. Guess he's right. Drapion cross poison. Paul said unleashing Drapion from its ball. No. Something's not right. Where's Omni? You guys and the others stay here with the shadows ill find Omni. I always do. Charizard lets fly. Ash told them as he climbed on Charizard with his yellow and purple Pokemon on their respective shoulders. Cynthia and the others got there just in time to watch Ash fly off into the distance. Where's he going? Cynthia asked Paul, who responded after Drapion used Iron Tail. Don't know. He said something wasn't right here because Omni wasn't here, he said he was going to find them. Help. Paul asked before ordering a sludge bomb from Drapion. Garchomp Dragon Pulse. Cynthia nodded, letting her dragon loose on the shadows. Meanwhile, Ash found Omni was now in the fight of his life against Omni leader Zeroen. Oh, 